Hello guys. So in this video, I just wanted to show you how I set my mod setup for my Let's Play series, Noir and Three Tweaks, B Tweaks. Now, after you install Noir from Wabajack, uh, you, it comes up with this Mod Organizer 2 panel. Let's start from the left panel first. Um, these five mods, if they are turn, not turned off already, turn them off and put them above this line. CGO completely optional. I didn't like it. I turned them off. These three experience mode you have to turn them off. Conflicts with three tweaks, obviously. This female body renewal you you just reinstall it basically depending on how you like it. The details on the setup MD of Noir. Now let's go over our equipment durability system. Completely optional. This is my preference. I didn't like third person as well, not so faced mage grill. I just turned them off in here. Now the key part is requiem. After this requiem category, there's requiem and all these patches in here. And there's this AZ tweaks category. And here my two tweaks and there's this one patch that I'm gonna mention later. First, you have to turn off Immersive Divine Blessings, Immersive Abilities, Racial Body Morph, Standing Stone, Classic Alchemy, Classic Food, and Tweaks Mod, Small Tweaks and Nox Crafties. You have to turn them off to mandatory. Only Minor Arcana is optionally, you can turn them off if you didn't like it. Everything else same. Then you add in your, install your three tweaks, then move it to here. Alternative description optional B tweaks and this is the patch. This patch normally around here somewhere. You have to move them after B tweaks. Otherwise, it's bugged. Steel plate helmet and I think the war rune helmet stays like completely invisible. So that fixes that. On the right pane, order with priority like this. You have to turn off no tweaks patch. This is patch for these tweaks. CMB CGA. This is for immersive divine ballistics. These. So we, since we turn them off, we turn off no air patches as well. These two only. Now, just like on the left pane, move three tweaks and these patches on the right pane right after the Requiem patches. At the end of Requiem patches, after this, I put my two tweaks in here, just like on the order in here. Now, this is two separate ESPs in here, so put it like this. Then everything else is untouched. Uh, if you remove something, it's gonna get removed in here anyway, so don't no need to worry about it. Now, after you finish, and every time you add or mo move your mods or remove any mods, you have to run two steps. First step is Zedit. You run Zedit from here. Click Run. Then it's gonna show up a pane like this. You choose Skyrim SE from here. Start. It's gonna do some it's very quick. Now you come up here on the top right, manage patches. Just uncheck everything in here except NPC visual transfer. Click build. It's gonna build. After it finish, close and close the large pane as well. After you close this, it's gonna ask you should I save Zedit ESP? Click yes and turn it off. So what does this do? It fixes any NPC visual errors like black faces and or the any visual conflicts. It, usually it fixes almost everything. Now go back to MO2 top right run the rectificator. Now the 
there is, there are details in the setup MD of Noir for the rectificator. There's two lists: block list file and uh, NPC visual text file. I think if you if rectificator gives you any error about like any mod, just add them on the block list file. You need to find this file in your directory first then add the mods that's giving error there block to the block list then rectificator will run correctly and if you add any mod that changes npcs i really not recommend <laughs> uh, you have to add it on the npc text file as well of the rectificator after this normally rectificator should run correctly and when it finishes, you're good to go. SKSE. That's all. The last two steps you have to do it every time you change or add or remove mods. There are also further details if you have any conflicts um, in the setup MD file. Now, I'm not a modding expert, so. I'm sure there are some conflicts still on my setup, but they are minor and didn't affect my gameplay mainly. So I didn't bother fixing them. <laughs> That's all guys. Take care. Good luck.